wife, Julie. Hi. I had a major attitude problem. Um, it was nice meeting you, Tara. Yeah, same here. I wonder what was wrong with her. I just met your parents. They are so nice. Thanks. Do you mind if I sit down? There was this pioneer sister, Stacy Evans. Could everyone please find their seats? <laughs> All right, listen up. Don't look happy. Listen up, people. Thank you. This overworked and underpaid English teacher spent his weekend reading your poems. Aww. That's sweet. I pulled harder, ripping that stone right from my heart and threw it all back into the void from where it came. Well, Mr. Beckwith sure drooled over your poetry. So? So, I figure you're the one to help me with the class assignment. As I got to know Lori, my opinion of her began to change. Wait till Mark sees you. Mark? Hello, Mark in your English class, Mark. He's been checking you out ever since your little poetry reading. He's cute, and Daddy has big bucks. Mm -hmm. Not to mention that he's recently become available. And hey, just... what are you doing Saturday? We could show her around. Yeah. Yeah. Play tour guides, why yeah. not? Sounds like fun. Mm -hmm. Cut me in. So what do you say? <laughs> I don't know. I have to be up early on Sunday. Hey, listen. I'm having some friends over tonight. I want you to come. I'd love to, but I promised to go into the city with some friends. Oh, from our home? No, from school. But they're just going to show me around the city. They're real nice. Look, I hope you don't mind me asking this. But how well do you really know these kids? What do you mean? I mean, do they have any interest in the Bible? I don't know. It hasn't come up. But they're not into drugs or anything like that. Hmm. In fact, they're even nicer than some of the kids at the Kingdom Hall. Well, even if that were true, don't you think you have to be careful with people? People who may not even believe in the Bible? These kids are not Canaanites. They're very nice. I mean, the Bible tells us to love our neighbors. But doesn't it also warn us that it's dangerous to get too close to certain people? Stacy, I'll be careful. I'm not going to do anything stupid. Trust me. Here's your burger, honey. <laughs> At first, we pretty much stayed together as a group. But soon, Mark and I were talking. I really enjoyed the attention. Where's Kyle? But they're not into drugs or anything like that. Mark told me he didn't mind taking me home. This is your favorite spot? Sure is. Sometimes I just like to come here and think. About what? Things. Yeah. Mark seemed to care about a lot of the things that were important to me. Before I knew it, we had been talking for over an hour. I can't believe how close I came to breaking Jehovah's Laws that night. I felt so stupid, so naive. It was wrong to be alone like that with any guy, but especially one who didn't serve Jehovah. That night, I told my parents everything. Are you sure you told us everything? They were everything? very upset. Nothing else happened? No, Dad, I told you. You've been telling us a lot of things. I don't know what to believe anymore. Honey, what were you thinking? Didn't you get it? Why do you think he took you there? Don't you know what he wanted? I can't believe this. It's been a long day. Let's get some rest and we can talk about this tomorrow. What's the big deal? The big deal is that the Bible says it's wrong. Do you have to do every little thing the Bible says? Look, Lori, I should have told you this before. I'm one of Jehovah's Witnesses. You are? Yes.
I felt so stupid. 